The nominal voltage of my system is going to be 48 volts DC. That's going to be the inverters and the charge controllers and everything else. But these modules are 24 volts each. So today, we're going to pair them up and that'll create our 48 volts. So here we go. Before the camera turned on, I did a little bit of wire management. We have all these BMS wires now secured to the tops of each battery with this little sticky thing that holds them down. I've also taken off all the bus bars from here. So these are the bus bars. I'm joining together every pair of batteries. So this terminal down here needs to join up to this terminal. I'm going to drill a hole through this piece of plywood to get to it. So I've already positioned this one where I want to be able to mark out where the hole is and then all of them I'll just be able to uh, measure and mark in the same location. Let's go ahead and check this. So where I'm going to drill this hole is going to be three inches over from the side and three inches back. That's going to be the center of the hole that I drill. Now I'm going to push this battery farther back to make clearance for this. That's enough. I just drilled a one inch diameter hole in every other shelf and that'll be for each pair. So now I'm going to pull the batteries forward and get this terminal lined up with that hole. I have all the batteries now positioned around these holes where I'll be sending up the bus bars in between. See, so a pair down there, one here, and two more. But all the batteries are in position. Uh, before I add my bus bars here, I thought this might be a good opportunity to share with you guys uh, this official lug for these uh, terminals that originally came. It's called a Radlock. Now it's a 14 millimeter uh, post diameter. And this inside, you can actually see, uh, kind of is, is cut inside there. And I'm assuming that's kind of like, probably going to be a little springy action around that post. And then there's this kind of lever on the back there, uh, which would, you see that little, just a little plastic ring that would go over it. I really want to give a shout out to DIY Powerwall's Facebook group. It's thanks to you guys on the group that you were able to help me identify what the posts were called so that I could track this down. Now I had to call a lot of different places to eventually find this. Now here's the information if anybody would like to try to order their own. Now this one terminal cost me $32. Now I don't know what the breakdown is between what that was in shipping and what it was just for the lug. I imagine you can get the per unit cost down lower if you're ordering more. The bottom here is designed to be crimped onto a wire, but let's take a look at just how big this is. 0.713 of an inch, that's huge. That is a big wire. For reference purposes, this ring terminal lug that I have is made for four aught wire and has an inside diameter of 0.555. So here you can see the difference. This is a four aught lug, and this is some big giant cable. I don't even know, they, they get up into KC mill or something at that point. Now eventually this did come in. I wanted this in, for a previous video for when I filmed these copper lugs that I made, but unfortunately it didn't come in in time. It was a special order. Uh, but if you guys do want to buy your own, now you know what they are. All right, let's move on to the bus bars that I'm actually going to connect in between here. Here's what I'm actually going to use. These are some bus bars that came out of a Smart for Two electric car. I rebuilt a Smart for Two electric car battery in some previous videos, 
And by the way, if anybody's interested in buying some cells for that type of battery, uh, batteryhookup.com is now selling them and I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description below. So these bus bars are 0 0.595 and then the thickness uh, 0 0.10. So we're gonna need to cut back a little bit of this paint that's on here uh, and get that prepared and drill a hole in the right spot for both sides. With the end cleaned up and I drilled a new hole on each end and that'll be for the uh, bolts to go through and I beveled it. Now I'm going to use these uh, serrated hex nuts as well as a flat washer and a bolt. This is all stainless steel and this is how I'm going to be attaching these bus bars. All right, let's see if it fits. All right, the holes line up. This is some conductive grease. And the idea with this conductive grease is to have very, very little. And these are 7 sixteenths. And I did go ahead and dip these tools. We have 53 volts across there. Well, I'm glad I saved these bus bars from the smart car build and they're coming in handy here. And that's the process, it's just rinse and repeat. I have three more to go. So thank you everybody very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the affiliate links in the description below. Those really do help out the channel and they don't cost you any extra. So thank you very much for watching. 53.14. So that's our nominal 48 volt battery bank thanks to this jumper wire right here.